All right, Chuck, we've talked about how corn and soybean crops have been impacted by the drought, but how about the grapes? Uh, we find First Alert meteorologist Devin Mishuli stomping around wine country for some answers. So the grapes are a little bit stressed right now because it's been... I don't know how long since we've had anything substantial as far as rain. It's actually been more than a month since we've seen a decent rainfall and the grapes are getting thirsty. Luckily, they're planted deep within the soil and their roots can access more moisture. They are a perennial, so they have a little better of a root structure maybe than some annual plants that are just putting down roots for one season. The vines are in plenty of, of moist soil down there, but they could sure use a nice plumping drink. To check how dry the soil is getting, Bob Berry, owner of Trace Rojas Winery, does the shovel test. And dig down through the soil until I find, you know, the soil is moist enough where it still holds together. And that gives me an indication that there's decent soil moisture. If the drought continues, with no irrigation systems, it may require a lot of work to get the vine some water. We could essentially put water tanks on, on a trailer and haul it down and give every plant a drink, but you know, by the time we got all of these you know, 4,000 plus vines watered, that would be probably a couple of weeks of doing nothing but hosing down each vine, so. We know heavy rain can dilute the flavor of grapes. The hot and dry climate can also impact their flavor. But if we get a little less rain than normal, the juice will be a little more intense. The grapes might be a little bit smaller, but the wine might actually be a little more fruity, a little bit better. Overall, grapes are resilient, but sure could use some more water soon. I think as long as we maybe catch up on a little rain in the next month, it will be okay, and we'll probably end up with a decent crop. Reporting in Mackinac for 25 News, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Devin Mishuli.